My freshman year of high school, I got sick and I was out of school for a while. I couldn't really interact with people or even look out the window and I became pretty depressed. Um, it was a really dark time. And I remember sitting in my bed most of the time with my eyes closed. The thing that I really missed the most was just the simple act of passing strangers on the street and getting to smile. Just like these simple day-to-day -day gestures that validate our existence and remind us that we are real. That experience taught me a lot about how much I need other people. I realized that I can't really define myself apart from the other people in my life. That the things that are important to who I am are the accumulation of the things around me that have shaped me and all the love I've felt. Um, the people I've loved, the places I've loved, the things I've loved, those are the things that define me. And most of all, how much love I can give to those things. After I realized that, I became really afraid that at some point in my life, I would forget all of these amazing parts of it. I began writing down everything I didn't want to forget and filming things and documenting everything that I could. A few weeks ago, my friend's grandmother turned to me and said, you know, there are little blessings everywhere and you just gotta take them. And since she said that, I haven't really stopped thinking about it. And that taught me a lot. It taught me that I've been documenting all of these things that I think are blessings, but the reality is that all the time we are in a sea of blessings. And oftentimes we don't even notice them or consider them to be blessings. I realized that I don't have to worry so much about the things I'm going to forget because forgetting things is just a part of life, but I feel a little bit more secure knowing that there are so many more blessings along the way for me to discover. Right now, what I'm working on is how I can not only take those blessings, but share them with other people.